what is up what is up what is up kingdom builders y'all we are in the building with a fresh word okay mm -hmm. this thing is hot fresh off the doggone press you are going to want to stick in to the end because look this is a prophetic warning for you and do not ignore it okay the lord is saying that man or woman is sent on a mission to destroy you let me repeat that again that man or woman is sent on a mission to destroy you and this message is specific to a specific group of people um father god i just pray lord that each person that you lead to this video father god that this is a word in season for them father i thank you oh god that you have even begun to minister to them about this person father god that you have even began to show them your word concerning them father let this this warning oh god not fall upon deaf ears in the mighty name of jesus let them be here not just hearers, father but doers of your word in jesus name father i thank you lord that they shall eradicate these people or persons from their life in the mighty name of jesus and for those who have already fallen lord i pray that as they repent that you give them the grace oh god to get back up and go forth in doing your will in the mighty name of jesus all right y'all so let's go ahead and get into this word, y'all. So the Lord said that that person, okay, that man or woman was sent on a mission to destroy you, okay? And let me tell you how this the Lord gave me this message. And so a couple of weeks ago, I had released a word and it was called um, high level discernment is necessary in this hour. High level discernment is necessary in this hour. And y'all, shortly after I released the message, it's not even it's not even an hour or two later, this guy hits me up on, um, he sends me a message. And he's like, hey, any chance you're looking for a submission, um, submissive male um, who will do your every whim, you know, who will obey your every command? And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm not. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe that it is the position of a woman to submit to her husband. And so, anywho, um, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna leave that at that. But then he keeps contacting me back, you know, oh, please, um, I'll pay you this, that, and the third. And see, I understood right then that this is a spirit that is operating through this man, okay? This is a spirit that is using this man to try and get to me, okay? Try and get to me. And so I'm like, I, you hate the spirit but love the person and so i'm like okay well i'm not even gonna reply even though um for a while he kept sending me messages oh please answer this that and the third and for many of you you know even at the opportunity of receiving money for doing something that you know would normally convict you you'd have been like oh okay well let me see what he's talking about let me see um uh, what this is going to do let me see how much he gonna pay me or whatever else and that right there was the snare that was set out if you had obeyed if i okay had obeyed even just um with curiosity and being like oh well let me see how much he gonna be paying or let me see what he's talking about because it's just the online um it's just a little online um um, um situation or a situationship this is just a little online ordeal let me see what he's talking about that right there would have opened the door for chaos to enter into my life because it would have created a stronghold okay it would have created a legal ground for the enemy to come in and attack my ministry to come in and attack my personal life to come in and attack what the lord is already doing and so i recognized right there straight out uh-uh no uh-uh and i had just released that word because that word was for me too high level discernment is mandatory in this hour and so to get on back on to the word that the lord has for you okay that person or persons who are coming in to your life, to enter into your life, they're on a assignment to destroy what God has for you, to destroy your ministry, to destroy your home, okay? To destroy your finances. Because even for some of you, you have already begun a, um, thank you, Holy Spirit, an emotional affair with these people, okay? You haven't physically slept with them, but you have joined into an emotional affair with them. And even from that time, there's been conviction to let you know that this is wrong, to let you know that you shouldn't be doing it, to let you know that you need to stop. But there's also been some strange occurrences that have risen up in your life. And the Lord is saying that that is a cause, a direct result of this relationship. And so anytime 
okay you enter into relationship thank you lord the lord is saying those are covenants that are being forged okay you are forging covenants with the enemy and so it is time for you to take a step back there are even many of you who have gone beyond the phase of emotional attachments okay emotional affairs or emotional relationships and to having sexual intercourse and the lord is saying for those there are even many who are going to watch this video and since you entered into a sexual relationship it seems like all hell has broken loose okay your finances have taken a turn okay your business has taken a turn going south okay your relationships have been destroyed it's like all hell is breaking loose thank you lord even for some of you that it has been a extreme attack on your health even receiving the report that you're going to die that you have an incurable sickness and the lord is saying that is a direct result a direct result of this relationship it is time for you to sever ties with these people it is time for you to sever ties with these people okay the lord is saying it's time for you to repent okay number one sever the ties number two or actually number one is repent okay number one is repent father i'm sorry you know what i'm sorry for going against your will i'm sorry i know that you told me not to get into a relationship with this person i know that there was red flags that i was hearing on every corner but i ignored them i'm asking that you forgive me god and i promise that i'm going to turn around okay i'm a busted you turn i'm gonna leave them alone god i'm gonna leave them alone because it is a blessing for those of you who are in the beginning stages who are in the beginning stages but for those of you who are a bit further along okay not only do you need to repent but turn and turn around okay but also um and not only sever the ties but also the lord is saying for you after you sever the ties with these people you need to go in and ask the lord to uproot every covenant it is time for you to go and break those soul ties because the legal ground and the covenants have been forged and this is why the enemy is encroaching on your territory this is why the enemy is encroaching on your territory so the lord is saying that it is time for you to go and do some root work you need to ask the lord to give you the strength to up um to to not only ask for forgiveness but pull up those strongholds sever those soul ties okay even for many of you who are just in the emotional state have soul ties that need to be severed you've tried to walk away okay you tried to walk away several times but something just keeps pulling you back you know that they're not the person for you but something just keeps pulling you back pulling you back pulling you back the lord is saying it's time for you to sever that soul tie it is because you are connected in the spirit realm that you continue to go back to what you know is not good for you okay so it's time to do that root work okay it is time to do that root work as you repent as you sever the soul ties even for many of you i'm hearing the lord say it's time for you to pray and fast because this kind come out only by prayer and fasting okay as you begin to do those things you will see the restoration okay of your business the restoration of your ministry the restoration okay of um your finances the restoration even of your family but the lord is saying that you need to follow those instructions even i'm hearing the word of the lord for many of you and you're going to know that this word is for you that confession is going to be what um brings forth your um that brings forth your deliverance and even for healing for those of you who are in need of healing for the sickness that has come over your body not only are those steps the ones that you need to follow to receive freedom but also the spirit of the living god is saying that it is time for you to go and confess your sins okay because the word of god says confess your sins to one another that you may be healed if this is your word and you are in need of healing you need to go and ask the lord who oh god do i need to confess my sins to because this sickness has come and attacked my body this sickness has come and take root in my body this sickness is coming and taking even my virtue and i need it back father i need the healing oh god i need the deliverance master i need what you have for me and you need to follow all the other steps but you also need to find someone to go forth and um confess okay and this is what happened i know i cheated on my wife 
this is what happened. I know I went astray and did this X, Y, Z. This is what happened. I entered into a homosexual relationship. Find someone who you can trust. Don't just tell anybody. Find someone. Ask the spirit of the living God who you need to confess to. But you need to go and confess your sin, okay? And the Lord is going to restore you. That is the word of the Lord, okay? And so... um. So I'm just listening to the Lord. So yeah, but you guys, um, that relationship, do not allow it to go any further, any further, any further, okay? Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. So he's saying that for those of you who have entered into these sexual relationships, this is why you are feeling um, as though all of your strength has left you. Or your, or your virtue, okay? You're feeling tired. You're feeling lethargic. Your anointing you feel has left. The enablement to do what God has called you to do, you have no longer. And the Lord is saying it is because when you begin to enter into these sexual relationships, okay? With these sexual relationships, and even I'm hearing the Lord say with witches, these sexual relationships, they forge these covenants with you to suck you dry, to suck out your virtue, to suck out your anointing, okay? To suck out the enablement. Even that's why you're feeling lethargic and tired all the time. Like you have no strength and no energy, okay? No strength and no energy. Even for those who this person comes around to sleep with you right before you minister and you feel like you're uh, ministering ineffectively. This is the reason why they're coming to suck you dry but the lord your god will restore everything that has been stolen because he says when a thief is discovered he must repay seven times that which has been stolen so let that be a portion that everything that has been stolen shall be returned unto you in the mighty name of jesus i pray oh god for each person who has heard this word, Lord, that you have ministered to directly to them, God, that they know, Father, that you are ministering to them and that they are going to let these people go, Father. And as they let them go, that you will restore everything that has been stolen, every form of destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, oh God, that they shall obey the word of the Lord in Jesus' name. And as they obey, that restoration shall be their portion. I thank you, God, for each person who has even entered in and watching this video, who is just in the beginning phases, Father God, who are just seeing and their discernment has risen up. Okay, who is this person? Person. This is not for me that they would obey you in the beginning so that they never have to face what the others have endured in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you, oh God, that this is your word and that you are sending behind it the power, the dunamis power of you, oh God. We give you the glory, the honor, the praise, and the thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. So that's all I have, y'all. If you know somebody who needs this word, go ahead and share the word of the Lord. But until next time, y'all, until next time, <laughs> be blessed.